watching. Then we've popped back up. We try to keep the stream within the hour, but, to, but tonight we have just been so busy. So I think we'll pop back up again and just see that everybody is okay. I was actually just saying to a dear friend tonight, I think we should keep it uh, within the hour, but everybody's doing their nut here. So we'll give it a few more minutes and just see what is what. Evening, Scotty, says Tony. Hello there, Sir Scotty from Drum Chapel. Yes, indeed. Scott Fraser, lovely to have you with us. Indeed, you do. That's just about an hour up, Scotty. We need to do a longer stream. Well, beachy, beachy, here I am back just to say hi to every single one of you and dinky do. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag floatai, all in uppercase, I say. Uh, as always, enjoyed the show. Till tomorrow night, thank you, Jenny. With your luck, Scotty, you'd come back as yourself. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Who's that? It's Rab. Rab! How lovely to hear you, Dinky Do. Same yourself, I'm speaking on me yourself. Oh, fantastic. It's good to hear you. And thank you for all your support and for following. No, it's not a problem. How's no, things no, in no. the real world, Rab? Are you going on okay? I am fine, my man. Top man. Absolutely. Uh, right, You're a top man. Busy, busy boy. I'll tell you, we've been putting together this internet phone in, and it's not for the faint hearted. And as you know, Rab, if I had money, I would get a professional in and get all the top equipment and that. But the problem is, we don't, you know. And uh, so, oh, what? Awesome. So, we're just doing it ourselves, you know. You load it. Load it, absolutely. I with the cold. These were the days, Rab. And the Bargedi mob, and I was still waiting here. Ah, fantastic. We loved all that, the old Bargedi bunch out there. Good, good laugh, wasn't it? It was absolutely fabulous, Rab. That was Scotland's finest radio hour. Exactly. So it was. You should cut on the telly, Scotty. I think what we should do one hour on the telly uh, on, uh, say, a Friday night. And uh, get take the phone calls, take the uh, the the texts, and uh, you know the emails and the discussions, and have guests on. Well, I, I seen around. I, I was at your your thing a week of years ago in Cumbernauld. Oh yes, indeed, that was some night. That, that was when, when when you used to wear the gloves. Used to wear the mitts. I've still got the gloves, but it's roasting hot in here. You know, that's it, that's it, that's what they do, Rab. Yes, indeed. I I appreciate that very much. You know just how much I appreciate that. You take care, big fella. Dink you do, my big boy. ta -ra -la. Run, Top Bye. man. Top man. That's our Rab. That is fantastic. For the East End. There we are. That's just about the hour, everybody. Scotty, let's have some more. We're back since Willie's song. What's going on here? Oops, I missed that call. There we go. Give us another wee call back, guys, and we'll see if we can catch up with you. You're watching Scotty McLean. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Hello? Can't hear you. Sorry, losing you. Don't know what's going on there. Fantastic stuff. You're live with Scotty's phone in. That's what it's all about, I say. <laughs> now, there we go. I'll just pop this down there. Give us a wee call, folks. And uh, remember to turn down the background. Very, very important. Uh, there we go. Hello, Scotty McClure. I'm out the bath. Ah, Kareem. How fantastic is that? We thought we'd just pop up, Kareem, because uh, there was so much demand tonight. So excellent stuff. That's what it's about. Good lad. Says Beachy Beachy. I, I have still no sounds, is Netty. Scotty, I'm just out of the bath. We know Kareem. So there we go. Who's this? 
You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? Oh, can you hear me? I can. Good stuff. How you doing, Scotty? How you doing? Who's that? It's Jason. Jason, can you turn your background stuff down? Yeah, no problem. That's no where we're getting confused, I think. Oh, okay, no worries. I could not hear a word. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you do. Tonight. We're very well, Jason. Absolutely. It's been a corker tonight, and that's why I thought I owe it to these people to pop back up even for a few minutes. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I thought it was rather late when I come on and I seen you alive. Absolutely. That is beautiful stuff. And, uh, you know, oh, we're right across all the top platforms. Yeah, I'm not sure on Twitch and stuff now, yeah. We're on Twitch. Are you a Twitcher by any chance? There we go. Fantastic. Couldn't you hear for the noise there? Don't know what happened there. Uh, so who out of the royal family would do well on It's a Knockout these days? Uh, well, I don't know that It's a Knockout would be doing so well these days. We'll see. How many of the ships were owned by a steam packet company? Why were the companies called whatever name? Steam packet company. Why steam packet? Because they were packet boats, Gordon, and uh, you would have things like a packet holiday and um, rates for carrying people, so sensible rates. So I think the packet was something to do with a package when you were traveling on them. Is that right? You could book as a package. You could say, well, I can get the packet boat, um, you know, if I get the train to Guruk, I can get the Caledonian steam packet to uh, Wims Bay. You're live with Scottish phone in, is that? Uh, no, sorry, I get cut off. I was Jason here. Hello. Hello, Jason. Yes, some music came on. Was it a background noise? Sorry. A wee bit of background. Yeah. Now then, what's happening? Nothing much yourself. Oh, just fantastic. Lots happening tonight. Been an incredible show tonight. tonight. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're maybe going to do another few minutes, Jason, by popular demand. How many I th people are watching? I think so. How many people are watching? Well, last night with a few thousand were watching. A few thousand? So that's quite good. What happens is TikTok, we have a lot of followers on TikTok, and then we've got the Twitch and the YouTube. But, I mean, even I'm quite happy even if a few hundred are watching. Yes, yes. And you can even just a few people, but a thousand, well... That's crazy. It's crazy stuff for nowadays, but I was used yeah. to quarter of a million every half hour. A quarter of a million, wow. That's what we had on the radio days, Jason. That is crazy. That was Are very big. Are you back on the radio? Sorry? Are you back on the radio? Uh, not for a while, no. I've, it's a year since I've been on radio. Ah, I see, I see. You know, but who knows what the future brings, old son? Who knows? And as we say in the best of circles, dinky do. Dinky do. Lovely to hear you. That's our Jason there. Fantastic stuff. And uh, so, Gordon, I think I'm right in that. Dinky do. Scotty says, Mega Chelsea. Everyone can buy you a pie. Suzanne, where are you seeing that out of interest? Because that's on the YouTube channel. And just today, I found that a lot of my links were set to private by accident. So they're now set to public. So are you seeing buy me a pie somewhere? That would be amazing. Hello there from Sir Scotty from Drum Chapel. You're live with Scotty's phone in, who's that? Nobody, <laughs> the magical person. I'm back, my phone went on, Dr. Disturb. Yes, absolutely. Hello there, Sir Scotty from Drum Chapel. The goodbye song, I think. Scotty, do you think we're heading towards a winter of discontent? I think probably the winter of discontent you're talking about during the miners' strike. I think that was nothing to what we will see. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Can't hear a word. There we are. So that's that. Uh, Cher, thank you very much, Thomas. It was lovely talking to you. Uh, they were called packet boats as they originally carried mail. Ah, Nettie, good one. Well, I, I can remember when McBrain's had the Royal Mail contract. So the, the Royal Mail steamer, RMS, so you had things like the RMS Loch Fine, 
which would have probably been uh, the TSMV Lochfein or just the MV Lochfein uh, motor vessel or twin screw motor vessel. It's on your main page. Go to the top of the screen and click on the About page, and it's in there. Excellent, Suzanne. So somebody, is it a live link? Is it looking live? You're live in Scotland's phone in, who's that? There we are. We can't hear that at all. We don't know what that was all about. There we are, some poor soul confessing about something. Uh, so there we are, tremendous. The packet boats. You're live in Scotty's phone in, who's that? Louise. Louise, how are you? I'm good, how are what you? What a joy to hear from you. Likewise. You are a remarkable lady. <laughs> well, you've been very busy, so I had to phone in and say hello. Very, very busy. One of the most sensible people that I've ever seen on the internet. Huh? <laughs> That's you, not me. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'll tell you. When I first just thought this woman is just something else, I was watching, um, I think I've told you this before, I was watching on Facebook and it used to do, it used to leave up and you got a recording, it still does, you know, a recording of the show, uh, what was it we called it, uh, a watch party, Yeah. I don't know if you still get them, and uh, there was a huge bunch watching it. And then, sure enough, during the show, they started to drop off. And then it went down to just a handful of people watching. And then it went down to one. And I said, who's this? And it was you. <laughs> and I oh, thought, this God. lady deserves a medal. She's watched Scotty McClue right to the end. I do. I cannot look away, I have to say, the whole time. It's just, it's just <laughs> incredible. And I know why, because you're an extremely bright lady. And you'll be going, how do you know any of this, right? I'm, I'm septic, you see. You'll be an extremely bright lady, and you pick up on a lot of the nuances. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're very educational, so I have to soak up every second. You think, I know what's going on here. I get this guy. <laughs> exactly. You see? And, and have you noticed, being clever, have you noticed that when you say something genuine and clever, people go, are oh, you daft? You know what rubbish you talk? <laughs> Very strange. Yeah. <laughs> so never, ever change a thing, Louise. Just you and love being you. It's a great thing to be. Yeah. Thank you. And I don't know if we're going to do any more lockdowns or whatever, but Regardless, I hope you keep doing all these phone-ins and lives because I'll be watching. Well, I'll tell you, see if we're going into lockdown again, I think there's even more of a need for a show like this. There is, there is. You know, because the, the people need to talk. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I wanted some holiday suggestions because I don't think I'm going to go away, but I want to go somewhere in Scotland. Now, I like all the suggestions. Without sort of um, being too specific, are you not out Argyle way? Yeah, Argyle and Butte. Yeah. Argyle and Butte. So now Argyle and Butte, you know, I mean, my family, my parents were married 73 years ago today. And uh, they came from a wee village called Ardrishig. And it's right at the start of the Crinan Canal. You know, and, and these places are nice. Tarbot is another one. Campbelltown, yeah. Carradale. Yeah, I know those names, but I would not be able to remember the first two names. That you just said. Absolutely, Ardrishig and Tarbot. Loch Gilphead, Mid Argyll, Oban. Yes, Oban, Oban's lovely. You know, these, these, are, these are great places. And when I left school, as I say, I, was, I worked on the boats and the wee ferries. And the one I worked on used to go every day about half a dozen yeah. times from Guruk to Helensburgh. Yeah, we need that back. We, we do. Because everybody could yeah. then get a job that would go, no, I don't get the train from Helensburgh. I nip over and go up in the Glasgow train at Guruk or, or I work in an office at Port Glasgow or all these things, you know. Doesn't do ferries anymore. So. I'm so sorry to hear that. I can always remember it was, I mean, the ferry master, you couldn't have got a more experienced man. He was just amazing, lovely guy. And um, 
very, very good to me because I was just a nipper. And I had to summon up the courage to ask him for the job. I was on my bike with a wee high voice, you know. Anyway, yeah. it was amazing. And he gave me the job. And uh, I used to, he used to put the bow of the boat into the pier at Helensburgh. And there was a ladder. And I would run up the ladder with the rope. And then I would pull the gangway up. And uh, I remember on a summer's night taking people back from a night out in Guruk and Greenock to Helensburgh, oh, yeah. and the tide, it was a summer's night, and the tide could not have been lower. And beside Helensburgh Pier were these wooden steps. And when you got right down to low tide, they were covered in green slime seaweed. Mm. Right? Now, this was a summer's evening. It was hot and balmy. The tide was so low, we had to put the passengers off on the bottom of these steps. And I remember this girl, she'd be maybe about 16. She just looked a lot older to me, you know, but she'd be about 16 and her boyfriend. And she had to step ashore on heels onto this green slime. And the wee soul, I could see her shaking. And I said to the boss, I think that girl was frightened. He went, well, it's only natural to be frightened. Oh, because I was a kind of brave wee boy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably just not as aware as I should have been. Oh, did she, was she okay? Did she was she fine, no, she was just a wee bit yeah. shaky. We managed to get her up the steps in her heels, you know, and, and she had her heels, and in those days you had kind of tight trousers on, you know, and and, and that was it, and, um, and up she went, uh, these steps with her boyfriend, but my goodness, it was it was it took a bit of courage. I'm sure everyone was biting their nails. Oh, all these kind of things, but it worked. I mean, amazing, and uh, we never seemed to have a problem. We looked after all the passengers. Amazing. I don't have any experience about that, but that's good to hear. Like, oh, hi, that was it in Helen's. Yeah. And then I can remember one night we went out and there was a sort of scraping sound, and the boat did a wee sort of slight lurch from side to side. And I said to the boss, what on earth was that? And he went, oh, don't worry about that. There's a great big flat rock just off the pier. He said, when the tide's as low as this, you can sometimes just scrape over the top of it. Oh, no. Like Titanic. Oh, absolutely. So that was it. Fantastic. Amazing. Okay, well, I'll let you go on. Well, listen, take great care of your dear self. And as I say, just stay yeah. fabulous. Call and get and get more stories. Do absolutely, and I want to hear some of yours because they'll be even better. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> I'll Thanks, Louise. <laughs> night, night. Thank Bless you. you. Dinky you. do. Dinky do. Thank what a super lady. Just a top lady. And Louise has been watching for years. There we are, lovely wee village, Tivialich. Oh, Susan. There we are, the Crinan Canal. Somebody's put the Crimean Canal. There we are. Uh, right, what do we got here, guys? Lots to talk about. It's a little time to do it. Uh, the packet boats, yes. In your main page, go to the top of the screen. Oh, yes, that's right. The buy me a pie. Thank you, by the way, for all your generosity on the GoFundMe.com, on the PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, for your all your beautiful TikTok gifts. Thank you for your gifts on YouTube. Brilliant says Welly Song. Brilliant you, Welly Song. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Jordan. Jordan, how lovely to hear from you. And Dinky Doo. Thank you, Doo. How are you? Very well. Better for hearing you on tonight. That's amazing. Are you enjoying the show? I love you, Scotty. You're a national treasure. A national treasure. You're very, very kind. Great. A wee bit of nonsense. That's what I say to people. You know, uh, don't have to look at me. Just stick it on and go and do your chores. <laughs> it's great. It's, uh, you've, you've, you're, you're a complete tonic. After well, a hard day's work, you come back, Scotty always cheers you up, he informs you, he keeps you entertained. It's, it's brilliant. There's a fair bit of nonsense talked on here, Jordan, but a lot of sense as well, apparently. 
somewhere in the mix, maybe more sense from the callers than the presenter. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> Lovely to hear you. That is a treat and a joy. You take care, Scotty. Thank you. I will catch up soon. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks. Bye-bye. ta -la. What a top man. That is absolutely incredible. You people are amazing. Nettie says we did the North Coast 500 as we're bikers. We went anti-clockwise from over the Black Daba. That was a lovely place to visit. Hello from your Jenny pal, Scott Tam. Dinky do Tam. There we are. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. If it's the Tam I'm thinking of, he's one of the finest comedians in the world. Tremendous. He's actually, he's one of these guys who's a lot funnier than he thinks he is. I love that. Good morning, Scotty from Australia, says the wonderful Frank Mayer. Frank, always good to have you. And dinky do, I say. Lovely to have a Meyer on from down under. Uh, come and join us as soon as you can, guys. You've got the number. You're watching Scotty McClure. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Here's my second call. Kareem, you, you, listen, you're very welcome. I'm using my second life. We've popped up for another bit of time. lying in my bed listening to you all. How is it sounding, Karim? Everything sounds fine. The lighting's fine. Uh, everything's good. The lighting was a wee bit dodgy at the start of notice, but it just means moving a lamp about, you know. Yeah, no, they've done the job. It's, it's, everything's fine. I was a wee bit worried the other day, Karim. I, I hope I'm not sounding paranoid, but I said to Paul, I says, well, I should maybe have, you know, a fancy background and all that. He went, Scotty. <laughs> Leave it alone. Nobody's bothered. Yeah. You know, and I thought, what a nice thing to say. It, it looks just, you know, like, you always say it shows for the people, come on for a chit-chat. Aye. And it just looks, it looks traditional. It just looks like, come and join me, let's have a wee talk, as opposed to, like, something big and fancy. Aye, a big picture of New York behind me or something. But you, it's a thought. Another thing I've heard about social media, somebody said, by the way, just to let you know, social media people don't like anything that's too slick or fancy. And I thought, wow. Right, okay. You know, so I thought that was another interesting one. He said, no, they don't like it. He said, you can do all the fancy editing and lots of kapow and all that stuff. He says, they just don't go for it. He says, the reason your show's working so well, he says, is because the people just like what they see and that's it. Yeah, it's, it's to the point. I think that's... To that's the fun. point. Where it, it does what it says on the tin. <laughs> Absolutely. We like that. And I mean, I know I'm no oil painting, but really at the end of the day, people can put it on and just go and do their chores, you know? And it doesn't crack the glass or anything, no. <laughs> Not at all. Um, and just, you know, have you on in the background listening, and as I said, I can make comments right. on either any of the social media regarding your fans, and yeah, just chill, relax. But obviously, as I said, I can't do that here because it's not a smart TV, so I've just used my phone tonight. Well, it's a smart caller that we're getting, and that's what matters. Kareem, wait till I tell you this, too. Here's another thing for you, uh, just when we're talking about that sort of stuff. Um, I was talking to somebody about, you know, some big mainstream broadcasters. And, you know, these people sometimes say, the lines are open if you'd like to call, and nobody calls. And I was talking to somebody about it, and I says, I don't understand why they don't get the calls. I says, we're absolutely stowed out the door and stab it through on the internet, you know. If we set up in the street corner, people would come and start calling, you know. And he says, uh, he says, no, I'll tell you what it is, Scott. He says, think of these names. Would you call them? Right. And I said, um, no, probably not. He went, well, there's your answer. And I thought, you know, he's absolutely right. It's a huge compliment to me that people just feel they could pick up the phone and have a blather. You're one of the people. That's it. You know, and 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 I I I I just can't say fairer than that, unless I can't pronounce my F's or THs. 
And see Louise, we're down there, Louise. She's been, uh, uh, you know, a Scotty McClure viewer for years. And, uh, you know, her and I have exchanged little messages uh, about, uh, you know, how to do stuff technically on, uh, on channels. And she is just fascinating. But as I say, what I found amazing was she was the one listening right to the end. You know, it was a, it was a recording. It was a recording, and she knew it was a recording. It was on Facebook, and they were called. Oh, I had it earlier. They were called um, chat. What were they called? Remember, you used to come up, and people would just join in. Oh, party! That was it. Right. A watch party. Sorry, Karim, ah, just yeah, had a blank yeah. there. And it was a watch party. I don't know if they still do it. And um, I'd put up a watch party. So that was after we'd done the show. We just left the recording up for the stragglers to watch. And Louise had joined it. And people were dropping off near the end. And I thought, I'll shut that watch party down. Oh, no, there's still somebody watching. And it was Louise. And she watched to the end. And I thought, now there's a lady, because I just knew she was shot. She gets everything, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, yeah well, interesting stuff. And you get like, everything. Is that like a live call? Yeah, well, no. You did the live show. You did the live pop-up live stream on Facebook. Facebook Live, what we're doing now. Uh -huh. And then after that, it would say, set up a watch party. So you took your Facebook live recording and you just let it play on Facebook. Ah, and people would come and watch it. But there was a bit of confusion because a lot of the messages would go, is this live? I'm talking to him and he's not responding. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you were live, they would go, oh, is this a recording? You go, no, this is live. Yeah. So it caused a wee bit of confusion, I think, you know. But I'm good, Scotty. I mean, I appreciate you doing it. All of it was, uh, it's something to look forward to at the end of the day. A bit of a bit of a laugh, Karim. A bit of light-hearted banter. Absolutely, <laughs> Scotty. But listen, I'm going to say thank you, dude. You are, and have a lovely holiday. I'm glad you've had a nice long soak, and uh, I hope you sleep like a puppy in its basket. Oh, the thing with the room, it's the, the house. It's it's quite good to describe. You look out the living room window and you see the castle, so that's ah. lovely. But it's the house is shaped like a big T. So you, you come in from downstairs and you go up the stairs and upstairs to the left is the bedroom and the living room kitchen. Or if you go up the stairs to the right, it's the bathroom and another bedroom. Ah. But I can hear a pub around the corner. Just, the music is absolutely blaring. I'm hoping it will stop soon. <laughs> oh, listen. Uh you know, I mean, the nightlife in Carlisle, I don't know what it's like now, but it used to not be for the faint-hearted, shall we say. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping by 11 or 12 anyway, this pub music is going to stop. These, these guys know how to party. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so do we in Scotland. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Lovely to talk to you and dinky do. Thank you, Scotland. Night, night, Kareem. All the best, La. What a top man. There we are. Kareem on his holiday bags in Carlisle. Well said, Jordan. Yes, indeed. You're one of us, Scotty. That's a compliment, by the way. It is Suzanne. It's a huge compliment. And I take it as such. Scotty, apart from Numpteed, have you had any of your regular callers from Nation Radio on your internet calling? Neil O'Gormley, I beg your pardon, sir. We've just had the wonderful Kareem on. For a good old chit chat, how amazing is that? Uh, that's what it's all about. A watch party. That was it, Willie Song. Uh, thank you for that. Yes, it was a watch party. But I don't know. Do, I don't think they still do them, do they? I think that's gone. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth is happening, you're watching Scotty McClue. And we are live. I am the World Stop broadcaster, the world's most humble man, the father of feminism. And um, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Flutai. So there we go. Friday night, nothing gets past me, and we are live big style. Right across the internet, we're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn. If you're watching on Twitch, 
Can you watch live for a while? Because it will help count towards my affiliate C. There we are, affiliate C. See what I just did there, big word? I'll look it up later. And uh, Twitch, of course, fantastic. Just get following. Last week, we had two followers on Twitch. The last time I looked, we had almost 80. So let's see if we can get up to 100 tonight. Uh, followers on LinkedIn. Now, this is an unusual one, but we're on LinkedIn Live, which is for those and such as those. So uh, I'm very, very chuffed about that. And uh, if you're on LinkedIn, then get on and follow Scotty McLuhan LinkedIn Live. Kareem, of course, silly me, silly you, Neil. What were you thinking? Kareem was one of our main callers on Nation Radio. And your good self, of course. So there we are. And Numpty Heat, of course. Sadly, Anna passed away. And our lovely Linda, the accordionist, used to come on and play. We love her. So I hope Linda will come and join us. Sadly, we can't play the squeeze box with uh, well-known songs because we don't want a copyright strike. If you've just joined us, we're into our second half hour this Friday night. Kareem, of course, silly me. Now, I think we can do with some TikTokers. So we'll see if we can get the TikTokers back. That's what it's all about. See what's happening. Uh, fantastic. Who else have we had on? We haven't had Numpty Heed on tonight. Sorry to hear about Anna. I know, Neil. Anna was a gorgeous lady. And she was a very, very big international supermodel, um, Anna, uh, in days before. You had your supermodel supermodels. And I uh, used to see Anna um, well into maturity, shall we say, uh, in top quality magazines, advertising, top of the range stuff. And I think that's Anna, a lovely lady. And Anna, of course, was a great friend of Ricky Fulton and uh, a, a great friend of Kate, um, Ricky's wife. So there we are, Kate as well, Kate Matheson, uh, as Kate was. Lovely, lovely people. So there we go, dinky do. Yes, yeah, so poor Anna, uh, apparently she'd had a fall. And she spoke to us on the radio. Uh, she just loved it. So there we go. Now, let me see. What time have we got? 27 minutes to the bewitching hour. Uh, give us a call, guys, if you're watching. Come on, let's have the chat. I love a Scottish country dance songs as well as song. Well, I'll maybe play you the accordion well as song and dedicate that to you. So there we are. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's my good self, me, myself, and I. Numpty you Heat, numpty. about time to know you and I must be septic. Uh, because I just was talking about you, and here you are. Absolutely. You know, my ears were bumming, Scotty. Well, you're a wonderful man. Do you remember the old Scottish saying, speak of the devil, he's sure to appear? Indeed, and I've done that twice. You're a top man. No, you are the antithesis of the devil. You are goodness personified. Absolutely. Hey, Scotty, Scotty, what? Oh, well, it's about time. This will be a first. Aye. Phoning Scotty McClue with something to say. Aye, aye. Now, you know, uh, the, the fellow that played Boise and only feels with horses? Yes, John Chalice. He did indeed. He was a great friend of my old managing director. And uh, I was watching a few uh, Only Fools and Horses clips, you know, the, the best clips. Lovely. Lovely and clips. The, the, the same, the best one, is the one where Del Boy slips at the bar, you know. The well, that's one of my favourites. My other favourite is when Boise calls round to the flat. Right. And, um, uh, is 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 sitting there and he um says Dell told me to call round in my way and he'd give me a lift to the pub and he says yeah but you stay was it Boise or was it Trigger? Oh, I think it was Trigger actually yeah that's right he says no Boise I love I'll tell you the Boise one my favourite when uh, he talks he, he he blackmails him emotionally about Sheffield. And do you remember the, the scene with Grandad and the chandelier? The chandelier is probably my favourite. Aye, 
the hammer is to go right and the other one smashes. <laughs> now, that can happen. That can a okay. thing can happen. But apparently the director said to Rodney and Del Boy, right, this has cost a fortune to put together. Uh, one laugh, that. one laugh and the pair of you are finished, right? Absolutely. So they had to keep Absolutely. a really straight face. Now, working, I know they're professional actors, but see, these two guys had a real chemistry about them. Aye, aye. But Scotty, there were so many funny scenes, you can't just do the bar one. No, the but the bar one was a beauty. Let's have it straight. If you're trying to act cool in front of, uh, uh, you know, in front of somebody you fancy, and then something just silly happens, you know what I mean? Batman and Robin. Yes. And the crooks ran away. And the crooks just did a run art. Aye. Well, that's funny, Scotty. All these that's things funny. were funny, you know, and I loved the wee van. I'll tell you another one I loved when they made millions on the painting. <laughs> the painting, they went to auction. That was, that was a wee marine clock, the wee... The wee uh, oh, no, it was the clock. Sorry, it was the clock they'd found. And that went to auction. And uh, they the made millions. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And it went for millions. Six point three million or something. And they and just yeah. fainted. And, and mind they went hand gliding. Uh, mind they went on hand glider. Yeah. It was good at. Uh, and it, ah, it was a good clip anyway. What about the one, Numpty? What about the one when he buys a load of mobile phones and they change the telly in the pub? Mind you, mind you, had the sorry when the police came towards the mill. Aye, aye, all that stuff. I mean, that's great stuff as well. Okay. There's just so many funny clubs. You can't just see one with the Grandad, Grandad's an absolute character as well. Love Grandad. Oh, good Grandad. He, he was great. You know? <laughs> aye, and Uncle Albert. Let's not forget him. Uncle Albert. During the war. During the war. That's right. Aye. And remember Uncle Albert, was it no Uncle Albert that had had a fall and they found that he'd fallen down the stairs of all the pubs? Why, wow, he fell down the ladder into the stairs. Or was that Grandad? No, it was Uncle Albert. Uncle Albert, yeah. Aye, uh, kept falling down the ladders. That's right, and he says, I happen to have your service record here. <laughs> There's a saying, your sins will find you out. Well, it was just for people like yourself that, you know, I need to get their act together, you know. You've still got 20 minutes to go, so don't be running off just yet. No, we're we'll not run off. We'll do another 20 minutes just That's to say right. thank you to people like yourself. Indeed, indeed. Anyway. Absolutely. Uh, and we'll welcome, anyway. we'll welcome the TikTokers back as well. Indeed you will. And I'm glad your show's gone great. Well, it is, and that's because people like you have had faith in me. Oh, absolutely, Scotty, absolutely. People like you have had faith yeah, in me. Are. You know, you're no a sunshine friend. Aye, aye. You're no a sunshine aye. sailor. I'll know it. You've seen me go all, all through the ups and downs. Aye. Yeah, Scotty, I've got a joke for you. Go on. Oh, no, your jokes are terrible. Aye. Right, I'm saying bye-bye. There we go. We don't want one of his jokes. Uh, I'd still say there were two. Uh, now, who we got? You're killing me, says Suzanne. Are you loving it, Suzanne? Uh, fantastic. The Jolly Boys is my all-time favourite. Yes, indeed. Fran and Anna, stop your tickling jock. Good one, Jerry. There we are. We love that. Uh, fantastic stuff. Now, who have we got here? Yes, indeed. Um, Oi, says Derry. Hi, Dean. Fantastic. Oi, you with a hat on, says Apple user. How fantastic is that? Come and join us live on TikTok. We'll be up for about another 20 minutes. So uh, this is Scotty McClure saying thank you do to every single one of you. Fantastic. No, I can't eat. Good. Leave Susanna alone, you lot. There's Louis says, what happens if I call you? Well, why don't you call me and find out, Louis? That's what it's all about, I would say. 
Get on to Scotty McClure. Uh, you've got the number in front of you there. You're watching Scotty McClure. Hashtag Floatai. And we are live across the internet. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. And watch on Twitch. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Yes, lad. Hello, lad. Who's that? Scotty, my guy. Well, you've done what? I oh, see. Right, very good. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Nobody. <laughs> Bottled it. Miami twice great episode. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Yes, we love that. Only fools and horses. Uh, Jerry says, do you remember the girls on the cans of lager? Yes, indeed. I do remember the, the girls on the cans of lager. And people used to actually say, who have you got? Oh, she's gorgeous. All that sort of stuff. I remember it well. There was an element of respect there. What says Sasan? There we are. There's a moose loose about this house. Absolutely. A farmer from where, sir? I don't know. Where do you farm? Come and join us if you're uh, just watching live on TikTok. You're watching Scotty McClue. It's Friday night. Nothing gets past me. And uh, a shout out to Lucas and Valen. There we are. Handsome guy. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Very good of you to say so, I say. Uh, we're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Danny here. Hello, Danny. How are you? Yes, I've only heard part of the show. Were you talking about fools and horses? We were talking about fools and horses, Danny. You're a London man, aren't you? I am, and I started an episode of one. Well, how fantastic is that? And have you have you seen it again? Yeah, it's been repeated many times. It was the time that um, uh, Rodney and um, Cassandra yeah. had a bit of a split, and um, he was going to meet her at the airport. And when he got to the airport, um, I had to tell him that um, the plane had been diverted. And, of course, he was waiting... At um, we, we filmed it at Stansted, but, yeah, um, in Essex. But he he's supposed to be in the series. He was waiting at Heathrow, and he said, "What time's the flight coming?" I said, "It comes in at two o'clock in the afternoon, but it's been diverted." And he says, "Diverted where to?" I said, "Manchester." Oh, brilliant! <laughs> and, and he booked this hotel and everything, and that was my starring role. And I heard you mention horses and horses. And yeah, at the end of it, so I thought, I'll give you a call. Wow, brilliant, Danny! Danny, roughly, uh, which part of London are you in? <clears throat> oh, right, okay. Well, I'm just outside of London. I'm in a, in a county called Essex. Ah, we know Essex very well. Do you know Brentwood? Yes, I'm, I'm, I live in Billericay, which is next door to Brentwood. I know Billericay, very nice. A nice part of the world. Good for you. Yes, indeed so. Nice to hear you anyway, back on the radio. Lovely That's talking nice. to you. Yeah, we're on, Danny, and uh, it's it's working big style. I can't say fairer than that. You know, and I'm just, I, I, but I'm very humbled by the high quality of calls. You know, we're just getting some amazing calls, and it's just tremendous. And we've only started, I mean, this is our fourth week, Danny. Yeah. You know, and it's right across the internet. Okay, we're on uh, four platforms. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn. But uh, but it's just great stuff. And YouTube is a massive, massive platform. And Twitch, of course, I'm learning about. And LinkedIn and Facebook speak for themselves, you know what I mean? Like once you build up, build it up, it can only get better. Can't well, it? what I'm learning is that people are not too bothered where they hear it, they just want to hear it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, we might add some other platforms to it, Danny. You know, yeah. Well, you look at you know, radio, um, because I'm a radio person, of course, you look at radio, how it is now, and the young people, and how they can listen to music but in different ways you yeah know, they can get it on their you know do it on their phones they can do downloads it's you know 20 30 years ago yeah it was still real to real tapes Ab absolutely you know i mean i cut my teeth on them editing the big uh, reel to reels yeah beautiful That's big tape recorders and also we used to play out the brakes on carts we used to queue yeah. up our vinyl you know, you'd put your pre-fade on and give it, 
and just yeah. queue up your next song. Yeah, yep. I used to work in hospital radio years ago and when I was a kid, and uh, you know, that's what we used to do use the vinyl and turntables and cues and all that kind of stuff. Well, you um, know, you know what it's like out there, Danny. Yeah, absolutely, now it's the it's it's now it's all computers and everything, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, people are doing it all on the phones. You could probably run a telly station on your phone. <laughs> yeah, it's just so changed. You know, because uh, I work, um, I'm, a, I'm a, a boss of a community radio station in Essex. Absolutely. Um, and uh, you know, years ago when I first started, we we used to outside broadcast the BBC used to have a, 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 a car and a great big twenty foot aerial up. That's there. right. The OB uh, unit. Yeah, well, well, when we do it at the radio station now, it's, it's point to point internet. It's, it's half, half of the equipment that you need. Doing it on their phones, fantastic yeah. stuff. Danny, this has been a privilege hearing you lot, and you take great care of yourself, and I'm just glad we're all back in business. God bless you. See you soon. And you, sir. Dinky do. Ta la. There we are. That's Danny. How amazing is that? Uh, now, who we got here? Numpty Heed is okay. I tried to find this out for years because I've had it somewhere, but I can't remember, says Nettie. Numpty Heed, before him, you were listening. Or did you pop off for a minute? Or maybe it was after him. I can't remember, says Suzanne. Yes, Suzanne says. Uh, yes, says Jerry. Sorry. I went for a wee cuppa. Good for you, Jerry. You can he be a wee cuppa. Now, how's things on the old TikTok here? Right, here we go. I love your hat. Thank you. Hillary has followed us. Shout out to Lucas. Handsome guy. Great mate. Love the advert. You're the greatest man ever. Do you ever sleep, big man? Good evening, Scotty. You still up sugarly? Absolutely. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Now, who else have we got here? Classic show tonight, Scotty. Were you in the army? What an interesting question. There we are. Up the day, I say. Fantastic. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who is that? We don't, we've missed that. So there you are. Give us a call, guys. We want to come on. RIP Boston Merrifield, says Neil. Correct, Neil. Uh, so there we are. It's the white pudding, Scotty. Yes, I think that's maybe what's doing it for some of them tonight. Too much white pudding. Up the Royal Artillery, says Ashton. We salute you. Ashton's obviously a British Army officer. Where are you from, says Hembam. We're from the universe. Uh, no, we're from Scotland. Do follow us as soon as you can, guys. Get liking. Tap, tap, tapity, tap. Tapity, tapity, tap. As many likes as you can. If you look right at my bio on TikTok, you'll see the YouTube channel. Subscribe and tap the bell. You'll see just tap that link. It's a live hyperlink on TikTok. Float eye, dinky do scrag, first lord of the internet. Answer me, says my name. My name, we've answered you. There we are, son. Absolutely no, I'm Irish, says Ashton. Nothing wrong with that, Ashton. You're very welcome on here. Yes, indeed. Thank you for watching tonight. So many interesting people. Love your pictures, Scotty. There's Susan. I think that's Susan in Lancashire. Welcome, welcome, I say. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much for that. Fishing boats, Susan, of course. We like the fishing boats, don't we? That's what it's all about. Uh, Scotland is a brilliant place. Absolutely hand ban. Uh, Scotty, you're not following. Does your white pudding in Scotland have raisins in it? No. That's fruit pudding, Nettie. White pudding doesn't. White pudding's oatmeal. All right. So there you are. Fruit pudding has raisins in it, and sultanas. But what you've got to be careful, I very, very silly of me. I was frying a fruit pudding. It's not a great do. You'd be better without a slice of clouty dumpling. But I was um, trying a fruit pudding, and I just tipped it with my finger to skate it across the pan. And a boiling hot fried sultana stuck to my finger and bugged me. Oh, Scotty, will there be... Bonfires this year for Guy Fox Kareem. I think they should ban any fireworks or anything except for official get together. Sing Mull of Kintyre, I can't. So there we go. Now, 
Uh, you did not use our nine, so we'll send you down the Swanee for being daft. There we are. Use our nine's gone, guys. Doing the Swanee with them. I see. Fantastic. Back to the telephones as quickly as possible. We're we'll starting at the door and step it through. You're live in Scotty McClure's phone in. Who's that? It's John Boy, dear what's talking you so live? John Boy, we're live, Dinky Doo. How are you doing, Lala? Better for hearing you, Lala. This is amazing. Uh, thank you, Scotty. Yes, thank and we you. thought we'd just what stay on. YouTube? What's that? Are you still live on YouTube at the moment? We're live on YouTube right now. We're live on Twitch. We're live on LinkedIn and we're live on Facebook Live and we're live on TikTok. Well, I think we've been stowed out all night, so I think probably it's just been queued up. Stowed to the gunnels. We've been stowed to the gunnels and stap it through. <laughs> Do you mind that one, Davy? Stowed out the door and stap it through. Go on. What am I doing for my Christmas? No, but what do you want for your Christmas? I want to buy your gift. Oh, my dear man, I am not needing a thing. <laughs> I understand, but I want to buy your gift. You see, I'll tell you my problem, David, is uh -huh. I, I just cannot be flash. An old guy once said to me, a very posh old guy said, Scotty, you have no elan, right? And the problem is, I mean, I should be sitting here with a big watch on and the jewelry and, you know, all the earrings in and everything. But I just don't have any of that. I've got a dinky-doo badge. I, I, I love your badge. I, I, I love your money, of course, as well. And your dinky-doo badge. You know? you know? I see, I'm very close to you. I'm a family member. You are a family member. You're a lovely, lovely man. Well, no, what I'd like you to do is take the money for that and get something nice for you and John. You know, a wee thing to remember McClue by. Oh, he was, he was, you'd have absolutely adored him. I used to, I used to put my head against his and go, I think we'll exchange brains. And he would wag his tail, you know, because he was such a genius compared to me, you know. Well, he used to do things like occasionally he would just run away and uh, he would come back on his own scent. You know, and, and it, I would be up to high door, I'd be phoning the polis, I'd be sitting up till four in the morning. I do understand what you're saying, I do get that, yes, seriously, yeah, I do, you know what I mean? And I said to my pal one time, I says, I don't know where he was, I said, but he appeared back about half three in the morning, he goes, uh, I said, how has he done that? Because he looked as if he'd run away for miles. You know, he's exhausted. He goes, he comes back in his own scent. Now, that wee dog is crossing a road in bucket and rain with diesel cars that have gone by, and he can still smell where he lives. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Do you know what I mean? Seriously, do you know what I mean, Scotty? So Mind you, it might not be that difficult to smell out my house, you know. He maybe puts his nose up and goes, I think I know where he stays. Fantastic. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Honestly, oh, listen, I had a friend and a cat that would go with you for a walk. Aye, they go for a walk. Some cats like that. Yeah, it's amazing. And some cats get on great with dogs if they're brought up together, you know. Oh, yeah. And also, when he goes a walk, John picks up his shoulders to go to walk around the house. Fantastic. 
fantastic. No, it's just amazing. I mean, animals are just geniuses. They are, Scotty, seriously. You know, we could learn so much from them. Did you hear about the zookeeper that lost his job? No, tell me. They asked him why, what happened? He says, there were signs up saying, don't feed the animals, so I didn't. <laughs> Only teasing, no animals were harmed in the telling of that joke. Exactly, you know what I mean? Oh, it's funny, I don't think I was doing it for years. I didn't go back to a zoo, actually. I miss the zoo, but all the animals are doing you know? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, and a big dinky do to you, Davey. We'll catch up. And that was very, very kind of you to do that. Yeah. What you can do, Davey, if you're feeling flush on Christmas Eve, you can buy me a pie on the YouTube channel. Yes, it's got you that style. I can give you a pie anytime. <laughs> Don't say you've got a pie in my clothes. <laughs> Davey, did I tell you the story of when we brought the video out? And I'd gone to a wee watch night service on Christmas Eve. And I, I stayed out in a wee village and I came out in a country churchyard. And from behind one of the gravestones, I heard hissing. I went, sst, sst, right? And this, I thought, what's going on here? Is this a ghost? And this lady appeared with her daughter. She goes, Scotty, we've bought my man your video for Christmas. Would you sign it for us? I oh, says, aye, wow. of course I would. Have you got a pen? Because I hadn't got a pen. I'd just been to the churches. So anyway, I signs the video for her, right? Just me and my mother. I signs the video for her. And uh, I says, is your man a big fan? She goes, no, he hates you. That's why we thought it'd be a good laugh to give him your video. <laughs> Tonight, uh, I've been wife's popping. I love that. <laughs> that does. Okay, people say you can't say that. It's, it's not right, but I was just watching it earlier on with my wife's popping. I went back in the night. Oh, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Shockers. And you know what? Bring it all back. I don't care what they say. Just be yourself. Could you imagine that? Chucking your car keys into the bowl, you know? I know, I know, son. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We'll get hung. Lovely talking to you, and dinky do. And I love you, my son. I love you. Love to you guys, and dinky do. <laughs> what a fine fella that's our Davy. Excellent stuff. Now, there we are. Buy him a pie, Davy. Keep the channel going. So, there we are. Scotty, I'll say good night. Good night, Kareem. Lovely having you with us, and thank you. We're just about to go, and uh, can you say hi to Louis? I can. Scotty takes phone calls. He doesn't interact with us on TikTok. That's not true. I'm interacting now. Scotty, you know about Hoik. I shall find out, Andrew. There we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Nobody. Nobody. There we are. Fantastic stuff. So follow us as soon as you can, guys. And um, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell for the notifications. Our next phone in will be 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So tomorrow night at 10, be there or be square, I say. Uh, so there we are. Until then, from me, Scotty McClue, thank you so much for watching this Friday night. As we go into Saturday morning, I hope you have had a lovely time. And I say to every single one of you, Dinky do and Taralas. Thank you very much. Dinky do. One.